I wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Well, I'll probably see you before then. Here I am in the Australian, not the outback, but the Australian countryside. We've come up to the country for a Christmas Day celebration. Lots of different cultures, Mediterranean, Western European, and Turkey, the Americas. And as you can see, it's an absolutely glorious afternoon here on the mountain. So what I wanted to talk about today was what's in my bag? It's holiday season and we have to pack our bags for all sorts of different types of photographic adventures. Now, of course, those photographic adventures can come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And I want to show you my bag, but I don't want to show you my bag. I want to show you three versions of the bags that I put together when I'm shooting. One is small travel, kind of like on the run, run and gun video shooting. The second bag, well, the second bag, that's the video bag. That's the bag I take with me when I'm taking not all of my video gear, but a pretty large video kit. And then the final bag would be my full professional kit. So now we're going to head back to the studio and I'm going to show you these three bags. Let's go. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me here in the studio to talk quickly about what's in my camera bag for 2020. And the reality is I have at least three versions of what that is. So we're quickly going to run through those three versions. Version one is very simple. It is the Z7, and these days, because I am shooting stills and video, every time I go out, I shoot both. I have the Jobby with me, because that is a highly multi-purpose tripod that obviously you can use for everything from vlogging to attaching it to a tree to get the shot that you need. So it is a very, very versatile device. And I've got, I think this is the largest one that they make. Um, with the detachable tripod mount. So you can um, actually really quickly detach it, this thing here, and you can put it on and take it off and use it how you wish. And I think that's fantastic rather than having to unscrew it. And then the third thing that I take with me is the road and its receiver. And that could be the minimum kit that I walk out the door with just to make sure I can get something. Now, the, the lens, that I have here on the Z7 is the kit 24 to 70 that everybody loves. Yes, it's an F4, but the reality is it's an extremely good F4 and within body stabilization, the low light lo losses that you make with something like an F4 are largely made up for with the in body stabilization. Now, of course it's not perfect, uh, but what is perfect about it is it's highly compact. So if I'm just sort of heading out with the family or heading out to a meeting, I always have a serious camera with me, and this now is my minimum kit. Let's move on to my video kit, which is larger in scale. Okay, so this is the video kit. I often have something for cleaning. There's various versions of this in the universe. I'm always carrying with me well, this is an iPhone charging cable, which are useful to have. I have a very serious battery here from Signet. It can charge, it can even charge a MacBook. But what's lovely about this is it has the ultra fast charging port, which you can see here is this blue one. It has a second USB port. And you can charge two devices at once. And this is a 20,000 milliamp battery. So lasts a very, very long time. Um, I'm, I haven't done the maths, but I can do at least 10 charges of my Z7 with this battery. I can charge up the roads. What's great about it now is everything is, is USB-A and then all of those devices are USB-C. So I just carry, I've talked about these before. These are the uh, IKEA cables. They're very cheap. They're eight or nine dollars and they're very long. So this is always in the bag, in the laptop section of the bag. Now this bag was the bag that I used 
before I got my uh, Pelican cases. And in the end, this became too small to have my entire kit in it. But this is the kit that I travel with for uh, photography, my own photography, so street photography, and uh, as in my personal photography, my, my art photography, and my videography. So we would have the Z, Z7, there it is, it, it goes and lives in here with the 24 to 70. We've got, this is the 35, which I love. Then, I'll, th this is the 85 1.4, which I don't need to bring with me anymore, but it's still sitting in the bag. But this is the F to Z, and I can bring anything with me that I like. So I'll bring at least one F mount lens, and these days I'm probably gonna bring with me the 14 to 24 2.8 super wide. So that'll also be in the kit, or the 70 to 200. And then of course, we've got the 85 mil 1.8 absolute cracker of a lens love 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 this lens review currently being shot about this and the 50 mil which is we're shooting on the 50 mil 1.8 now and yes i've done it uh, you can see here how how we're shooting on the 50 mil the z 50 mil 1.8 and i've got the z7 in my hand yes i did get the z6 there are crazy sales happening right now here in this country i picked up a z6 at an extremely affordable price so I'll also have um, a Z6 review coming soon and a Z6 versus a Z7. It's gonna be very interesting. They are two amazing cameras. I've just done the 2.2 firmware updates and they're, they're feeling uh, quite fresh and feisty. I didn't realize, but I was only up to version two on my Z7, so I hadn't done the last two. So there, uh, I've done three firmware updates in a row. Anyway, I'm not talking about my bag, but the cameras are feeling good. That's what I'll have. I'll have the the, the three primes that I have uh, that are Native Z, the 24-70 Native Z f4, and then I'll probably bring along uh, uh, one of the F lenses, which currently doesn't exist as a Z. So that, well, you can get the... I haven't got the 14-30 super wide Z yet. I'm more interested in the 70-200, to which I'm pretty confident we're going to see any second now that I will carry with me. And that would be my basic kit for being out and about. Of course, I'll have my sound, which is made up of the Rode and the lapel mic if I want it, and the various uh, dead cats that uh, deaden the wind if I so desire. So that would be my kind of medium kit that I'd have with me. Now, the, the final kit that I will show you is my professional shooting kit which is made up of this kit here so i will take this bag oh and we have a jobby on the side here yes yes i do i do have two of them just in case um, i basically have one that's always in the car so this will go with me on a professional shoot along with the big kahuna let's go get it back in a tick okay well this is the full pro kit now it has to be in this case otherwise my insurer doesn't insure me when I'm in an aeroplane. So what do we have here? Well, what we have here is I have my F primes. So this is the 24, the 85 goes in here. I have the 50 mil shutter release cable. This is a cable to go from the D850 to the cam ranger so that I can send files to the client to an iPad or a computer or whatever. So that comes with me. Spare batteries, the D850 vertical grip, which uh, I very rarely use. I should, I should probably sell it. I, I use it sometimes. Uh, I've got tilt shift lenses. I've got the 24 mil, the 85 mil, and here is the classic, such a beautiful lens, the classic 14 to 24 F2. Still a beautiful lens and works amazingly on the Z. It's not correct. This, this, is, the, this is the 24 to 70 2.8. This here is the 70 to 200 2.8. And then finally we have the two D850s that live here. And then down the end here, 
is my accessory case and in there will be things like spare cards, spare batteries and uh, for my black rapid gear the dongles go in there for that. So that's the Pro case, that's my gear. I've got the three versions of it and I always leave the house with a camera that I know if I get a shot I'll be able to blow it up as big as my largest canvas I can make, which is something like three meters by 1.5 meters. So yeah, you know, 20 to 24 megapixels is more than enough to do that. And I'm very happy to take obviously the Z7 or the D850s for that. What I'm finding in 2019 is that the Z7 is in my hand all the time, every time. Its capacity to capture amazing 4K video along with outstanding still images generated with the, the extraordinary Z prime lenses along with the beautiful zoom lenses. It's light, it's small, it does everything I need it to do. It's a great hybrid and obviously Nikon continued to give us firmware updates and now we have CFX Express along with ProRes RAW, which I have spoken to Nick on about ProRes RAW here in Australia, and I will be sending it up there in the new year. It's gonna take, unfortunately, about 10 days door to door is what they've said. Maybe they will under promise and over deliver, we will see. So to have a camera like a Z6 or a Z7 in your hand and have the power that they can create both optically and they can just do everything you need them to do and they just do it with ease and it's interesting in the comments I've had over the last few weeks and it's really interesting when I put the question out there are you ever going to be a Z user or are you a Z user people said obviously there was lot, lots of people saying yes absolutely but a number of people said to me it's just fun and it's just easy and it's a really good point about these cameras just to get them going and to get a good shot it's a no-brainer, it's super easy, it feels good in the hand, and they just create these outstanding images without much effort. Anyway, that's what's in my bags. I have the all-round one camera zoom lens which can get me out of a tight spot when I need it to. I always know that I've got the DX crop, so my 24 to 70 can go up to a 105 if I need it to in 4K video when I'm on the Z7 and the Z6. And also I can get anywhere between 18, or I think it's 19 and a half and 47 megapixel files if I go to the DX crop. So this is a great hybrid all-rounder camera if that's all you've got in your hand. You're still getting amazing results. The second kit is the medium video kit where I've got all of my Z lenses with me. I've got my, my Rode audio gear with me and I can capture high quality video and stills and have a, an array of amazing lenses to be able to capture and perform whatever I want to perform. And then the final kit is the one here that I'm leaning on, which basically I can do anything and everything with both the Z kit and the D850 kit. I've basically got every base you could ever want covered, covered. That's the three levels for me in 2020. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what we have in store in the new year. There's a lot of really interesting things coming. I've got the 85mm review coming. I've got the Z6 review coming. I've also got the Sony to uh, Z uh, uh, adapter review coming. And I've just seen an adapter that allows us to do Canon EF lenses to Z. Far out. Is there any limit to how much fun we're going to be able to have? I'm, it's feeling like there's not. All right, let's get back to the country. See ya. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And thank you so much for watching. As always, it's so good to see you. And I'd love to know what's in your bag. If you've just got to quickly dash out, I don't know if you're like me, but I've always got a serious pro camera with me, regardless, regardless. So what's your grab in this video? I want to know what's your grab camera where you're heading out and you just want to have something. You might have one lens. What's that go-to lens? You're just hitting the streets. You might have a little compact mirrorless Fuji, Canon, Sony, Nikon, Olympus, etc. You might have one of those and one lens. What do you hit the streets with? Tell me what's in your bag. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. It's so great to see you during the holiday season where it's, we've had days as hot as 45 degrees here just a few days ago. It was 36 degrees here up in the country today. Might be freezing where you are. Happy holidays. And if you'd like to uh, subscribe and see more of me, that'd be great. I'd love you to. Uh, please like, please share. It makes us all smarter. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, just click at the Matt Irwin down there, Matt Irwin Photography, and there's over 150. Lovely. All right, catch ya.